If you have a Nissan Pathfinder, Xterra or a Nissan Pro Frontier, then you should watch this video. In this video, I'm going to share with you why the transmission in the Nissan Pathfinder, Xterra and Frontier fails or why is there oil in the in the radiator or in the, in the reservoir of the antifreeze or cooling system in these trucks. And I will also share with you how to fix this problem so that the transmission in your Nissan truck doesn't go bad. To make this video short, the radiator in these trucks is the problem or is the root of the transmission failure in these trucks. I got two radiators here in the shop, one that's still good and one that's bad that I uh, replaced in two Pathfinders and I will show the inside of these radiators to you so that you can see what the problem is or how it happens and also how to fix this issue. Alright, so I'm going to put compressed air in this right here. This is the transmission oil cooler inside of the radiator. I cut this radiator so we can see it, but uh, if you buy this radiator or if you look underneath your car, you won't see this part right here. You will see just this part right here. Um, some of the UV dye might come out here, but we're not looking here. We're looking at this part right here. And uh, I'll put compressed air in it so that we can see. As you can see, it's not a lot, but it's starting to come out. It's, gonna, it's getting greener and greener on this part, this, this part right here. So that's where it comes out. This, uh, this, uh, this is like a joint on this uh, cooler right here inside of the radiator. And uh, it's cracked, so it's coming out here. That's where the transmission fluid uh, comes out and mixes with it, the antifreeze inside a, uh, in, in the cooling system uh, or in the radi radiator and the antifreeze mixes with the with the transmission fluid so meaning that the radiator f uh, the antifreeze goes inside of this cooler right here where it's full uh, filled with transmission fluid and going to the transmission so this is the cause of the transmission in these trucks the pathfinder the xterra and the uh, frontier. This is what, what happens inside of the radiator when it fails and you won't be able to see it outside of the radiator. Outside of the radiator it looks okay but inside this is what happens right here. Alright, so you saw the inside of, of the radiator and you saw where the crack is, where the, the crack is on the transmission oil cooler inside of the radiator. And these are the kinds of videos that I, I upload here on my channel, Wrench Link. So if you like this video, then consider subscribing to my channel, hit the like button, or if you don't like the video, then hit the I don't like it button and also tell me in the comments why you didn't like this video or any questions that you have. There are two ways to fix the issue, this issue in these trucks or the radiator problem in these trucks. The first way to do it is to replace the radiator before it goes bad so that it doesn't damage the, the transmission. These radiators go bad between 60,000 miles and 100,000 miles. So it's safe to say that you replace the radiator every 50,000 miles so that the transmission uh, oil and the antifreeze doesn't mix together and the uh, antifreeze going inside of the transmission oil cooler going to the transmission damaging the transmission. The second way to fix this issue is to replace the radiator, flush the transmission fluid and flush the cooling system or the antifreeze. And that's if you found out too late, like meaning that the transmission fluid and the antifreeze has already mixed and the transmission has water in it now. But that's also that's if if the transmission is still good. Like maybe it has a little a little bit of a shifting issue, like a little bit of a jumping or jerking, but nothing too serious or nothing too bad. Then replace the radiator, flush the the, uh, the transmission fluid and the cooling system. But if the if the transmission has issues like not shifting in one gear or in all gears, then 
just replace the replace the transmission it's not worth rebuilding it because uh, it's it's been eating itself inside of the transmission so uh, just replace it and flush the cooling system and the transmission fluid because if you don't flush the transmission fluid and the cooling system it can damage the new transmission and the engine because the the, the radiator is what what cools down the engine so do these things depending on what's going on with your car so to learn a little bit more about this issue or uh, about this system i draw a, a simple diagram so that we can all learn how it works and how it affects the transmission when the radiator goes bad so let's look at this simple diagram that i drew so this this here is the transmission and the inside of the transmission it's got fluid transmission fluid but the transmission fluid gets hot so it needs to be cooled down and so two two lines come off of the transmission to the front of the vehicle so this is the outlet line where the transmission fluid the travels to go to the transmission oil cooler these trucks have two transmission oil coolers the there's an external external oil cooler by itself and there's the other one inside of the of the radiator the one inside of the radiator is the bad one the external one is not is not the problem here but it goes from the transmission the transmission fluid goes here to the uh, the 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 oil cooler the transmission automatic transmission oil cooler on the front of the radiator on the front of the car and then out of the cooler comes to the ra radiator goes inside of the radiator the transmission fluid gets cooled down it comes out and then goes to the transmission through the inlet or oil cooler line here so it goes through the transmission gets used in the inside of the transmission comes out again goes inside here and it cycles like that so it cycles cycles like this the radiator is used to cool down the transmission fluid also to cool down the engine with the antifreeze so uh, if you don't flush the the, trans, the 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 antifreeze inside of the radiator, that's going to affect the engine as well as the trend, the new transmission. If you replace the transmission, so you have to flush the 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 antifreeze, and also you have to flush the 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 transmission oil because this oil cooler will have oil in it. And if you just uh, replace the, re the transmission, not re uh, flushing the system, then it's going to this this oil inside of here is going to mix with the oil inside of the transmission, affecting the transmission. It's not going to go bad real quick, but it's going to affect the transmission over time. So just flush the fluids, the the transmission o uh, oil or fluid flush that and also flush the, the the antifreeze or the cooling system so that it doesn't affect the engine and replace the radiator which is the the main problem or the cause of this issue of why these uh, transmissions go bad in this uh, these nissan pathfinders the um, the pathfinder the xterra and the um the frontier all right, so that's it in this video. If you like this video, hit the I like it button. If you don't like this video, then hit the I don't like it button. And also comment on this video, tell me why you didn't like it, or ask me any questions or anything you wanna comment on this video. And also subscribe to my channel and share this video. That helps my, helps my channel by a lot and also that it can help someone else. If someone's looking to buy a car or a truck or one of these, then maybe uh, buy it but then replace that radiator right, right away so that they have a really good truck for a long time so and uh, these trucks are, are are good trucks but the only problem with these is this radiator uh, or the transmission but the transmission is not it's not the problem the radiator is the problem all right so uh, subscribe to my channel also check my uh, page on on facebook instagram as wrench link and i'll see you in the next video thanks Here is a better look of how it looks, how the radiator looks or the cooler inside of the radiator. And uh, right here, this is, if you look at the radiator, this is the only thing that you will see when it's not cut like this. I, I cut this right here so we can see the cooler inside of the radiator. But as you can see right here, this is where I cut it. 
but if you look at it underneath the truck then you will just see this right here the these little little uh, tubes that come out of the radiator and those tubes are for the transmission it's, it's, they are a secondary transmission transmission cooler because the transmission I mean the transmission has So here's another. So here's a better look of the. Here's a better look of the radiator or the cooler inside of the radiator. If you look underneath the car or the truck, uh, without the radiator cut like this, you will just see these tubes coming out of the radiator, and uh, you won't see this right here. You because this is inside of the radiator, as you can see right here where I cut it. Um, antifreeze is filled inside here around this this cooler. And inside of this cooler, a transmission fluid is filled inside of it, uh, going to the transmission and all that, so that the transmission fluid gets cool, cooled down to go back to the transmission. And um, another be better look of it is the same radiator. This one was still good when I replaced it because we wanted to prevent this to happen to the to the truck. And uh, here is a better look of this if this can focus. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>